Join me as I spent a week sailing the coast of Croatia. I did this solo trip to practice being okay with being alone and to discover more of myself while meeting new people and experiencing new amazing places. So join me as I travel to the different islands of Croatia and share with you everything we did, how much things cost, and what I've been learning with solo traveling in my 20s. How I got into Croatia is I flew from London into Split, and I'm going to share with you all the prices of my trip on the screen, so this is how much my flight cost. And day one was spent exploring Split. I took myself for a walk around the city, which is filled with beautiful historic landmarks. I then wanted to try some local Croatian food, so I got this borak, which was filled with cheese and spinach, and it was so good, one of the best things I've ever tried, before going and getting some gelato because it was so hot out. I tried two flavors I've never had before in an ice cream, and that was pistachio and ricotta with fig. It was really good. Also, filming myself was really awkward on the streets of Split. But that's part of my personal journey of not caring what people think of me. After reading for a bit, I then went and got ready for dinner. Here's a quick look at our Airbnb. The link is down in the description if you want to take a look, but just had to show you my fun little spontaneous hairstyle. And my friend Alex brought us some wine before dinner, which was so nice of her. We didn't really have a dinner place in mind, so we just walked around until we found a spot. And then after dinner, we went out for a little spontaneous night at the bars. It was so fun. And then of course, had to get myself a little drunk snack because it was just that kind of night. The next morning, I woke up and decided to go for a run because whenever I'm in a new city, I love exploring it and sometimes I feel like if I run through it, I'm almost like in a video game and I'm just exploring a map, but faster. And it was so funny running past all these mega yachts. I was like, please notice me. Just kidding. And then we got ready to go board our boat. The group trip I signed up for is called Sail Croatia and I'll give you a tour of the boat and our cabin as well. I honestly would have never signed up for a trip like this, but a friend of mine had recommended it and said it was well worth the money. Our cabin was really much nicer than I thought it would be. I thought I'd be living in a hole for a week. But we settled into the boat, they served us some lunch, and I had this really good ice cream. I had to kill all of it before relaxing in the sun and swimming in the afternoon. Our first day on the boat, they took us to Havar, which was such a stunning island I would have never thought to visit. The streets smelled of lavender because there were so many shopkeepers selling it, and we walked up to the top of this hill to get this stunning view. One of the things I love about travel, and solo travel especially, is it's so easy to make new friends. I feel like everyone is so open when you go abroad. In fact, we actually got a group dinner with our whole boat before going and getting gelato. I also did this trip with two other amazing health and wellness content creators, Anne Catherine and Caroline. They're both so sweet, and I put their Instagrams on the screen if you want to check them out. I'm so excited to take you with me on day two. I woke up this morning and decided to do a quick workout just because movement when traveling makes me feel so refreshed. This is also the free breakfast spread they had for us every morning. It was always toast, eggs, bacon, some jams, all of that fun stuff. And then we went up to the top deck and did body weight workouts. I made a whole video about consistency while on vacation. And while you don't need to work out on vacation, sometimes I like to do it just to help with my digestion and jet lag. And wearing our bikinis to work out in was such a smart idea because right afterwards we just took them off and joined the other girls for a swim and enjoyed the beautiful scenery. Oh 
I just showered and got changed. Here's the buggy fit. I don't know. I feel like I was gonna wear athletic clothes, but we're also going to a beach bar after and we might go out after dinner to some bars. So I just wanted to wear something fun and it's summer, it's hot. So it's like a fun wrap top. I really like it. <laughs> we finished swimming and then I showered, got ready for this afternoon. We're gonna go ride some buggies. This is my cup of water because lost my water bottle, so I've been drinking out of this. But I'm so excited. I meant to do a check-in when we first got on the boat and just let you know what everything was, the situation. And honestly, I'm so pleasantly surprised by how nice this boat is. It's like much nicer than I thought it would be. I honestly expected this boat to be kind of ratchet because it's like a bunch of young 20s to 30 year olds on a boat together, so. I'm pleasantly surprised at how nice it is. Anyways, I'm gonna go get the rest of the girls and we're gonna go and try our fun little buggies. I think it's so funny that you have to like jump through other people's random boats. <laughs> to the camera. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm laughing at the fact that you have to go through other people's boats in order to exit yours when you're docked at the ports in Croatia. I just felt like it was an invasion of privacy, but it was all normal. And then we got on this party bus to drive to take us to our ATV tour. What did you guys think? That was so fun. That was so fun. I don't even drive at home, so I was a little scared, but I was good. <laughs> you were really good, actually. You were like, I was, couldn't keep the up with you. The people in front of us were like, people usually can't. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> The tour stopped halfway and took us to this quiet little beach bar. I got myself a beer because it just felt like a beer kind of moment driving an ATV and then also got a spritz because why not? I was not going to drive on the way back. My friend was driving us. And then we got to this beautiful spot for another group dinner and we could see the whole view of the beautiful town. I started my morning with Nutella on a croissant as well as toast with peanut butter because I knew we had a long day ahead of us and I wanted to be fueled for the day. Me, Caroline, and Catherine were admiring the view as we docked into Dubrovnik. We just docked in Dubrovnik and we're gonna go walk to this really cool beach bar that has cliff jumping. It's a little gloomy today, which honestly is not horrible because I'm not getting sunburned. And also we're gonna have a nice walk get some exercise in and not get too hot, so <laughs> not worried. This is my little outfit for the beach bar and we walked an hour to get there, but it was worth the walk. It allowed us to explore a bit of the local streets. And as we walked into the old town, we saw the famous walls of Dubrovnik, which is where they shot Game of Thrones. We had to walk through in order to get to this beach bar all the way on the other side. It was free entrance and stunning location. If you're in Dubrovnik, you have to come here. You can come here to catch a drink at sunset or if you're adventurous like us, you can decide to jump off the cliffs that are right there. I jumped off like four times. Eventually, I ended up getting a little bruised, got myself a beer to make myself feel better before heading back to the boat to get ready for dinner. This was the best dinner I had on the entire trip. All the meats were slow cooked for over four hours. It was so worth the money and I would come here to Dubrovnik just for this restaurant. And afterwards it was like I was pregnant with how full I was. We had the whole next day to explore Dubrovnik, so we went to this beautiful beach to relax and swim in the crystal clear waters. Sometimes when I'm in places like this, it just truly doesn't feel real. And watching this footage back, I can't believe I sat here. I'm trying to work on being more present, so I spent the rest of the afternoon just relaxing the sun, reading my book, and really just trying to take it all in before going for a swim.
keeping the theme with trying more local foods, I asked the local guy at the restaurant what he recommended, and he suggested trying Greater Amberjack, which is a fish that is local to Croatia and definitely a fish I would not have had back at home. When I tell you, it was so fresh, simple, but delicious. And then funny enough, this day kind of took a weird turn. I ended up getting really bad heat stroke. I felt like I was gonna die. My heart was racing so fast, I couldn't think. So we had to rush home and I had to bank myself cold and lower my internal body temperature. People also thought I was sunburnt, but this is what I looked like four hours later. So the reason I was so red is because my body was just trying to release some heat. This was one of my favorite days of the entire trip because we traveled to a national park that was just stunning. I started in the morning with a healthy breakfast and then a quick workout, taking in all the view and doing some yoga. Recently, I've been focusing more on skills such as balance, which is a lot more engaging and I think a fun way to work out. How our boat worked is they would take off in the morning and sail to a new location. Then we would stop for a swim before having lunch and then starting the day's activities. Getting to the national park, you have to pay for a ticket, but a hack that our guide told us is if you were a student, you can use a old student card and show it to them and get student pricing. I also really recommend renting bikes. I feel like it was so worth it because we got to explore more of the park faster. And the natural beauty is just breathtaking. After biking and swimming and some people jumping off this bridge, we went to this sunset bar to enjoy a drink before going back for a casual dinner on the boat. That was Toma, our boat manager, giving his daily speech that he would always give us after lunch. On our last full day, me and Catherine and Caroline went and got coffee with one of the guys who worked on our boat. And I feel like it's taking me this long to get onto the topic of solo travel and what I've learned. But if you've watched this far already, comment and let me know what your favorite point in the video has been and I'll know that you've watched the video thus far. But something I feel like I've learned with solo travel is you learn a lot about yourself and seeing how you interact with new people. The party boat has arrived! <laughs> Because I feel like we all have different faces. We have a side to ourselves that only we see. We have a side that our friends know, that our family knows. But then when you meet strangers and you interact with them for the first time, what side of you are you bringing out? And I really noticed that I wasn't really my full self around strangers, which is perfectly normal, but something I wanna work on. Because it was our last night as a group together, we all partied on the boat, and it was also coincidentally a local holiday. So there was a band playing nearby. My friend and I walked to go check it out. But when we came back, we all got pretty much a little silly together. It was really fun. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this travel vlog. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.